Hi guys, welcome to Auckland, New Zealand. I literally just checked into my hotel. I'm currently staying at Four Points, kind of like downtown area of Auckland. I got upgraded to a suite again, which is always amazing. Door is right over here. I'm gonna point you towards this side. So we have a full living room space, which I think it's really, really nice. I know the window looks huge in here, which I'm gonna show you guys because there is actually a huge balcony with an amazing view of the city. So you have everything you need, a desk, TV, and a cute little lounge area. You go straight here and you'll see a little kitchenette. So microwave, I just saw there's like hot chocolate and an array choices of tea and there's peppermint tea, which I'm so excited about. I've never seen a place that actually has a dishwasher. And then when I opened here, I've never seen a hotel with a huge um, fridge as well. So that's a really nice surprise. I wonder if there's anything inside. No, there's nothing. And then when I go here is actually a very spacious, clean bathroom. Love. I look like a mess, but hi guys. And then I'm going to turn you around here and this is the bedroom. Love that I'm looking over a like the city of Auckland and it's just so cute oh my god look at this but as I said earlier another full-length mirror hello I don't know how to open it because I've actually never opened it yet but there is, is this lying push what is it okay I'm about to call front desk because I just tried for the past five minutes. It just wouldn't open. But look at the size of this balcony, you guys. It's huge. And this is a view. Welcome to Auckland, New Zealand, you guys. I'm so excited to be finally here for the first time. I've always wanted to come here, actually. Don't know what to expect, but tomorrow is actually a really exciting day. Today is going to be, like, a little bit of a relaxing day. There's not much left to the day, actually. Like, obviously, I got here at 4.30 in the afternoon, and I'm probably just going to go for, like, a cute little dinner and then call it a night because tomorrow is going to be a really early start. I'm heading to the Hobbiton um, where they film the Hobbit movies, and there's also this cave with this blue fluorescent... Um, um light i don't know i can't i have to read more about it but you take like a little boat and yeah it's gonna be super super cool sorry about my face i have no makeup today it's just been a traveling day but so excited to be here welcome to new zealand i found some energy to change outfit i'm wearing my sweatsuit that i wore on my way to my first week of my five week vacation just wanted to be comfy today and i'm sporting my ugly boots today and i have zero makeup i was really expecting it would be so cold here but honestly the weather has been so nice so far it's just like literally a minute away from the hotel is one of my favorite restaurants so exciting maybe for breakfast look how cute this area is wow thank you very much thank you yeah it's actually hot dark chocolate this time mm. Mm -hmm. This is for you guys. <laughs> so many people are fishing right now and I love fishing. But like, look at this view. So pretty. Just literally just like nature and I love that. It's crazy you guys, there's so many people fishing here and this guy right here is actually getting so much fish. Or not huge, but there is something. There's so many. Don't crash it. I'm on a scooter. Really, Uncle Man's. I'm kind of craving lamb, and Google said they're one of the best, but. The menu looks so good. And they do Malaysian food, yummy. You guys, they make their own roti here. I think this is some kind of curry. I think inside is cheese and onions. 
Come look at this lamb with some biryani fries and salad on the side. And you can see the guy making some here. So I got the roti and I got this a dip it with some kind of curry sauce. Mmm. Sauce is so good. Oh my god, yum. I got a little bit of lamb here as well. So good. Yep. We're now about to drive through some of the richest um, get up close to her. 10 to 15 meters. Uh, be mindful of our heads, okay? Because it, uh, it is quite low with me. Alright? And just give your eyes time to adjust to the lighting and the dark, okay? And you folks will be a okay. So is everybody ready? Yep. <laughs> I just finished a glow worm um, boat tour. It was really cool. Unfortunately, you can't be taking videos. So I didn't have that footage. I was trying to be respectful and I also didn't want to be kicked out from the tour itself. So I didn't. For the people, I was just there like a minute ago. So you exit through here. It was really quick, actually. You're only inside for about, I don't know, not even five minutes, I would say. But you see all these like twinkling blue, not twinkling, but you see this blue lights. and. If, because it's so dark, you feel like you're actually looking at stars. It was actually the neatest experience. I've never experienced something like that before. But yeah, I recommend it if you're in New Zealand. Oh my god, it was actually so cool. I, I love a good gift shop. Let's take a look. It's so funny. And it's like this reusable like car freshener. And they actually smell amazing. So cool. Ooh, this one smells really, really good. Also, purchase a cute Christmas ornament. And this is today's lunch. I was for vegetarian, but somebody took it, so I'm getting chicken instead. It's like a sandwich. Look how cute their coffee mugs are, but I actually got peppermint tea. And finally using my backpack that I got from Japan. They just keep going and there's so many of them and I find like they just get cuter every time you go for a walk. A little bit higher now guys but you can see the entire village a little bit. Look at that. So cute. The tour is so cute you guys. Like just like look how much work they've done to actually make even the gardens just look amazing. Unless it was already like this but I appreciate like a good set um, visit because when I was in uh, London and I did the Harry Potter tour, they did such a great job. I'm not so much of like familiar with Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, but I, uh, I think I'm convinced. I think I'm gonna watch it when I get back. I'm gonna do stealth, please. Yes. Thank you. 
Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Stout beer by the fire. Also, guys, when you start to tour, there's like a gift shop that was selling stuff like this. You don't have to buy one because at the end of your tour, they're gonna give you one from there anyways. We just finished the tour and I didn't know Tony's like steakhouse and seafood is actually really close by. The funny thing is I actually made a reservation yesterday for 7.30. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it today, but there was a, an availability for 7.30. So I didn't book it. I was just going to save it for tomorrow, but I passed by it. And I figured I would just well ask if they have an availability. And they do, which is great. So I'm going to cancel my reservation for tomorrow. I'm actually starving, but I want to show you guys the table. It's actually really neat. So the whole table is literally money. My kind of table. So good. Fries and salad. Look at how they serve their tomato sauce or like their ketchup. This is like a little tomato. It's so cute. Good morning, everybody. I didn't close my vlog yesterday. I was so tired after that tour. But um, you know what was that? I'm just having breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm having. Balsamic mushrooms. Bacon looks better today. Refried beans and some fruit. And I tried this yesterday just a little bit because I was in a rush, but it was really, really good too. So good morning. I just showed you guys my breakfast. I went upstairs back to my hotel and I just got ready and took my time just because today is like a relaxing kind of day like i don't really have any plans except going to if i'm pronouncing it right waikiki island i didn't do a lot of research so i'm just gonna wing it and see what's out there yesterday was jam-packed obviously i did two things i went to the hobbiton where they filmed like lord of the rings and the hobbit movies and then i also went to the glowworm so that was really really cool and fun fact there was actually some you know, famous um, artists that have been to the glowworms. To name a few, Miley Cyrus and Lizzo. So it's very popular. If you guys ever get the chance to go in New Zealand, especially in Auckland, I would totally recommend it. But I have a fair to catch in a few minutes. So I'm walking downtown Auckland right now and I'll show you guys and take you with me. So basically here in downtown Auckland now, close by the pier as you can see, I just got my ticket actually to go to Waikiki Island. So the tickets were $29.50 per person. Anything after one o'clock, the price actually drops to almost half price. And um, you just have to get back like anytime after 7 p.m. And the ferry is huge. Apparently it takes about 40 minutes to get there. Just made it, but look at this view. So pretty. Just look at this area. It's super adorable. It's like one of those beachside places, actually. Lots of shops, lots of choices for a restaurant. And even towards this way, there's way more, too. I'm in a place called One View slash Red Crab Restaurant. They're connected. Um, but the view of this place is actually stunning. It's also happy hour right now. So a lot of their um, drinks are on sale for $10. So let me show you guys the view of the place. How stunning is this place, though? You can see the whole island and the water. And on the other side of the island as well. Look at this bird, you guys. It's like really close to me and I just saw it flying out. Look how fluffy it is. Oh, bye, beauty. Look at this snapper. The size of it is huge. And I got rice with it. Wine, obviously. And look at a little birdie. And then this view, you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's just try this one. But honestly, it looks and smells like escabeche to me. If you're Filipina, try it. Mm. It tastes like escabeche to me, actually. It was so good. Look at this. I murdered this fish. So there's so many cute little shops here. But currently right now it's about 4 p.m. And I feel like there's like no one around. And a lot of the shops look like they're closing. Look at this cutie. That's yummy. Okay. Anyways, I got this chocolate fudge brownie gelato. Oh, yeah. There is an orangey taste to that. It's actually so yum. It's like perfect for like Christmas. So, currently finding my way to the beach. I think it's a five minute walk and it's downhill, which makes me think it's gonna be so much fun going up. But uh, look at this little pathway. Oh my God, 
Look at the size of this trunk. Look at the size of my hand compared to that. But look how beautiful. Anyways, I can hear the beach. I don't know if the camera is picking it. But yeah. I think we're close, guys. Do you hear that? Look at this. Look at this little doggy. Hmm. Hi. Can I touch? Is that okay? Oh, hi. He's so cute. Hi. His name is Bao? Bo. Bo. Yeah. Hey, Bo. I like your ball. Hi. Come here. You're so cute, baby. You're so cute. Hi. I'm so loving to you. Look at these cuties. Hi. Bye. The sun is out and the sky is clear. And look how stunning this place is. And there's so many shells. Time to go back and catch a ferry. <sighs> Running out of breath. Walking to my bus stop and this is literally the view. Oh my God. Restaurant craving kamjatang and some rice, and I also ordered what is that Korean barbecue pork. So I think I ordered way too much, but they said it's super so small, but I don't think it is. Yeah, we're just sharing. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. It's not really morning anymore, it's pretty much close to noon. I'm heading out for lunch really quickly, but it's just at this point, I have like nothing to wear. So I'm recycling a lot of things, but it is what it is. I'm here to have a good time and I'm not going to let it stop me, even though it was kind of bothering me a little bit, but I'm heading to Pia Beach or Piha Beach. Um, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's about an hour away from Auckland. Currently at Pokey Pokey. Actually, it's really close to the Malaysia place that I went to on my first day here in Auckland. It's really popular. I'm currently in line right now. And it seems to be a really popular place. It was really hard to find and the parking wasn't the best, so I had to go to a garage to find parking, but that's okay. Hi, good. How are you today? Nice to meet you. Good morning. Yeah. Can you please get half-price house? Look at this poke bowl and water. So we got shrimp, um, tuna, salmon, and a lot of salad around it, and half and half rice and half salad. So it looks so good. I'm so excited. Let's see if the wings were full. Mm. So good. Almost at the beach, we can see some water. I'm so car sick though, because there's so many like twisty, winding roads, but. Wow, the camera doesn't even do it justice. Look at this view. Imagine living in one of those houses over here and that is your view every single day. I wonder what this chopper is doing though. I think the helicopter is trying to save somebody. Is that somebody you guys? Like, I hope he's okay. Wow. Have you ever seen such a pretty place? It's very secluded actually and the waves are crazy it's definitely like a surfer's paradise for sure like if i zoom in look at the size of those waves
This might be wondering what these ones are. These are mussels. There's like millions of them. And they're lined all over this wall. See? You can even see it from there. Like those black spots there, they're not wet. Those are actually mussels. That's crazy. Can somebody tell me what these ones are? They're just like a, a touch to the rock where all the mussels are too. Really curious, but I don't want to touch it. So I didn't know what to expect, but it turned out to be probably one of my favorite places I've been to in this world. It is such a stunning place that I feel like it almost feels like a hidden gem too, just because there's barely anybody here. But there are some people that are actually going surfing and you know going to the beach and going for a little swim. Swimming might be a little bit dangerous just because the waves are huge. So I finally ordered some oysters because I haven't had any in New Zealand. I also ordered the red wine. Is it just me, you guys? Do you put Tabasco in your oyster? Is that like, is it like a crime or something? I feel like it's just like things spicy. Anyways, cheers. Okay, second one. I'm not gonna put Tabasco because it's actually so spicy. It's so good. Because I'm in New Zealand, obviously I have to order a lamb. And I love chicken karage. I'm gonna try this chicken karage. I mean, you can just never go wrong with fried chicken. The mayo is yum, so I'm gonna try and find you guys the lamb as well. I was expecting it was gonna be in Iraq, but this is this looks really good too. Today I was at Pia Beach and oh my god, if you guys like just before this, like the footage is just amazing. But no matter how beautiful a place is, which is funny, camera I just can't capture it as well as your eyes would. But obviously, I still want to share it with everybody. But cheers. Yeah, me too. You guys, look at the color of this egg. Usually in Canada, it would be like this color, but like, look at this. Yum. Got some bacon, mushrooms, and I already ate some of my fruit too. This plate is literally so funny. Every time I think of like Australia, they always say thank you and hear it in your head. It's like one of those things for me. Hi guys, currently stop at a random cafe on the side of the road. I'm heading to Hot Water Beach. It's about two and a half hours, but because of traffic, I think it's taking about three hours and three hours and a half. But I just ordered a I guess traditional like New Zealand burger that comes with beets in it, so hopefully it's good. And ginger beer, but I think I'm gonna pull out. Cool. See, I don't know. I think I like the ginger beer is kind of sweet. The ginger beer, like in Canada, is like so so punchy, and it tastes like ginger, and it's like. Almost like very, um, what I'm looking for, bubbly. But this one's kind of flat, like it's like sweet, but nonetheless, it's good. Look at this kiwi burger. Never seen a burger with beetroot, but I love beets, so I'm really excited. And I got ginger beer and some chips. Look at this. Stop on the side of the road and look at this one. I just parked my car heading to this falls that I just came across on the side of the road. It's called O'Hara Falls, if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm so dressed for this place though, but I really want the best photos, so you gotta do what you need to do. Ah, I can see, oh my god, it's actually so pretty. Currently laying down because I'm feeling dizzy. <laughs> I'm to Hot Water Beach. I don't think it's low tide enough though, so but I rented one of the shovels and it's ten dollars. So hopefully I find some luck. There are some people behind me that are trying, and I'm gonna be one of those people too. So we'll see how it goes. I just dipped my toes in the water, and it's super cold, and there's a lot of people in the water right now. So I guess a lot more people are braver than me. Everyone is trying to dig and cover it because the hot water is right here. So they're trying to build a barrier, which is kind of cool.
Look at my face, it's literally covered in sand. There was a bunch of us that was actually making a hole. Look how messy I looked. Just because I had like such a fun time. I've met some people and they were like all helping protect this like circle where there was like hot spots. Um, there was a lot of people as you guys have seen on the vlog. I literally thought no one was gonna be here because there was like no cars going towards this way and it was like a long way from Auckland. Like it took about like three hours and a bit to get here with traffic and stuff over the Nova. Oh my god! I'm like, you see this water? And it's freezing. So I guess in a sense the hot water was actually a good thing but don't you just love listening to the water? Like it's like natural ASMR. I love it. It's I like literally living the best life. This is so much better than being like born at home. So my hair a mess, face, a mess, makeup, still kind of there, but I am just heading home anyways. Hi sis, Hi. oh my god. Oh my god, finally. New Zealand from Mercado Cebu <laughs> to New Zealand char. I want to take Hi, Bessie! Hi! <laughs> Heading to Chijuri for some matcha. Look how cute this place is. Hi, small friends! <laughs> premier check-in area for New Zealand Air and I just dropped off my bags I'm heading back to Toronto I'm really excited to actually see my condo because they finally finished the renovation but I had the best time here in New Zealand it was definitely one of my bucket lists to be able to see the country and experience the countryside of it so it was really nice but this lounge to check in is honestly so stunning. I love it. I've never experienced something like that for a business flight. So to go to a separate room is actually really cool. But yeah, time to head home. We had pork belly in a lounge before and there was actually a chef that was making it. Also got some mango margarita and a red wine. Old fashioned. <laughs> Party. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Just the first aisle this way. This way? Thank you so much. Board of New Zealand's business class all the way to Vancouver and then I have a connecting flight from Vancouver to Toronto. It's like about 18 hours from Auckland, New Zealand to Vancouver. I'm so excited to be laying flat tonight. The configuration of the airline is different but and I think this is class I'm happy to be in. Hi guys, it's literally my first time for business class for New Zealand Air. I already got my champagne. And I'm looking at the menu as well and I saw there is like a lamb. So I'm hopeful that they actually serve it on this flight. This is going to be a 13 hours and 5 minutes flight to Vancouver and then we have a connected flight to Toronto which is another 5 hours. So. I'm looking forward to the laying flat. I heard a lot of controversy about New Zealand Air, but so far it's cool. I love it. I'm excited. It's going to be very comfortable for the next 13 hours. <laughs> a little tipsy. I just got five margaritas at the lounge today, so I'm surprised I'm still talking. <laughs> Look how cute the socks are. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh yeah, what is it again? So this one's the Parmesan roll, the sourdough loaf, the Kumara sourdough loaf, or just garlic bread. Thank you. Or something like that, but 
the flight from Auckland to, to Vancouver was so delayed. So basically I missed the connecting flight and the next one wasn't available. So I had to wait for like two more hours. I got upgraded to business. So I flew Auckland to Vancouver business and also now Vancouver to Toronto business as well. So it's going to be a nice flight. I'm going to be editing because I have so much work and catch up to do. But I will see you guys in Toronto. Thank you so much.